that as in the Old Testament they look forward to the final coming of the true sacrifice, now they looked back and recognized that that lamb being slain was a symbol of what Jesus had so done in 32 AD. Them. It reminds them of the Passover. Using that as a template. Which is what we do today, don't we, Grant? Yes, I mean, the families communion. are breaking bread, we're taking communion but, all but, the time. But, so. but I'm going to ask a controversial question here because when the temple is rebuilt and the Jewish people sacrifice, they have rejected, they have not accepted Jesus Christ as the Messiah and therefore they aren't looking for, they're looking forward to their Messiah, but they're not, they, looking, they, back. They're not looking back. But so now we're in the tribulation. If they, if they sacrifice animals, yes. um, Surely that does not cover their sins. No, nor yes, did exactly. it cover them Just in the Old Testament. Yes. What it will do is I believe the two witnesses and the 144,000 and other new believers are going to say, you know what happens in Jerusalem on the Temple Mount? That points to what Jesus did. It is a symbolic sacrifice that points to the one true and only effective sacrifice of Jesus. That is also the explanation of why in Ezekiel we're told that in the millennium, in the new millennial temple, there will be sacrifice. Correct. Why? Because I believe... And just say that again slowly, because saints, when I've read that as well, it's been a surprise to me. Yes. You read Ezekiel, and he talks about when Christ has returned, when, when the new millennium is taking place, when you and I are ruling and reigning with him, God willing, there are sacrifices. Nations are being instructed, commanded to come up. Otherwise, they won't have rain. That's right. And why? I believe that in the beautiful paradise peace, prosperity, no war, no rape, no violence, no torture. In the millennium, can you imagine people born in year 20 of the millennium? They've lived in perfect peace. They've never heard of war. It's, it's something from ancient history. Can you not imagine them wondering, wasn't God maybe a bit extreme at Armageddon? But when they see the sacrifice of the innocent lamb, it will remind them that there is no remission of sin without the shedding of the blood of the Lamb of God. Again, it will remind the people born in that thousand year period that there was a price for salvation and that price was what Jesus paid on the cross. It's a difficult concept, but I believe truly that this is the truth of God and the explanation of why God will allow the sacrifice to resume. And remember, it's for the Jews. Yes. Yes. Okay, great.